So what's, good, what's DNA good for? Well, DNA directs the synthesis of proteins. And this is just an overview. So you've got the DNA, and through a process called transcription, RNA is formed. And then the RNA undergoes translation to actually form the protein. So let's review the differences between RNA and DNA. Remember, RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. RNA contains ribose. DNA contains deoxyribonucleic I'm sorry, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, so the sugar in it is deoxyribose. There's also a difference in the bases. RNA contains the base uracil, while DNA contains the base thymine. Um, RNA is single-stranded, DNA is double-stranded. RNA is smaller than DNA. Um, it can range from 75 to a few thousand nucleotides. DNA is much, much bigger. We're talking billions of nucleotides. So DNA is definitely much larger. So you should be familiar with these differences between DNA and RNA. There are several different types of RNA molecules, and they're categorized by function. Um, so what we refer, refer to as HN RNA, stands, HN stands for heterogeneous nuclear RNA. This is formed directly by DNA transcription, and then is converted into messenger RNA. And we're going to talk about all of these forms of RNA in a little more detail. Messenger RNA is abbreviated to mRNA. That's what carries the actual instructions for protein synthesis to the places where the proteins are actually synthesized. Then we have small nuclear RNA, snRNA. And this facilitates the conversion of that hnRNA to the mRNA. There's lots of letters. Then there's ribosomal RNA. RNA, which combines specific proteins to form ribosomes. And ribosomes are the actual physical sites where the proteins are made. And then there is transfer RNA. Transfer RNA is what actually brings in the amino acids to the sites for protein synthesis. So here's an overview in uh, just very general terms, a cell has a nucleus, and outside the nucleus is the cytoplasm. The DNA is found in the cell nucleus, and the DNA replicates itself as needed. Um, from the DNA, uh, we get the HMRNA, and the SNRNA helps to convert the HNRNA to mRNA. The messenger RNA is what moves over to the cytoplasm and combines with, uh, interacts with the ribosomal RNA and the transfer RNA to actually make the proteins. So that's kind of the overall big picture, and then we'll look at the, the smaller details.